Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this week's edition of Photoshop for Video, brought to you by CreativeCow.net. We're going to take a look today at a little used command called the Auto Blend command, and what it allows you to do is merge multiple pictures together into a single, larger document. There's really two uses for this. One is going to be when you have a large scan, and you've got to scan it in multiple pieces. Maybe it's an oversized historical photo or a large document that you're going to go ahead and cut this up into pieces and merge them back together. The other use you're going to see is really for panoramic photography. Not necessarily a controlled panoramic photo where you've used a tripod, but maybe a handheld shot where you've got lots of different images to merge together. That's all right. We can go ahead and use this command to pull those things together quite easily. Let's see how it's done. Let's go ahead and merge together three pictures that have already been taken. I'm going to go ahead and use a little known command called File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack. And what this allows you to do is to take a bunch of pictures and put them into one Photoshop document. We'll go ahead and click Browse here, and let's just navigate to our blending images, and I'll select all three, holding down the Shift key. Now, if you want to get hands-on with these podcasts, be sure to head on over to creativecow.net and visit the podcast section, where you'll find the lesson files for each week's show. Here we go. I'll go ahead and click Open, and say, open these into a single file. Go ahead. Photoshop reads them in and puts all three images, in this case, into one Photoshop document. And what you're going to see here in just a moment is a three-part photo of an alleyway. Now, when I shot this, I intended it to be a background plate for a chroma key scene, and it's going to work out really well. I was just running and gunning, came across this great location while I had my camera with me. No tripod, nothing fancy, just shot three photos, making sure that there was about a 20% overlap between one shot and the next. So when you've got your camera and you turn your body, make sure a little bit of the first photo appears in the viewfinder for the second photo. Now, here we go. We've got the three images here. Let's just turn these off, take a quick look. There we go. And you see just a little bit of overlap. We'll select all three photos with a quick shift click. And with the Move tool picked, we can go ahead up here and click this button, which is called Auto Align Layers. Now, if you forget where that button is, you'll also find this up in the Edit menu, and you'll see it there as well, Auto Align Layers. This brings up a dialog box, and there's lots of choices here. Truth is, Auto's going to work 98% of the time, so let's just stick with that. We'll go ahead and click OK, and what Photoshop does is analyzes the pictures, looking at them and trying to determine the overlap, and it's going to put them all back together again into a new picture. There we have it. Let's zoom out just a little bit. And you see it's merged those together, except we definitely have some visible seams where the pictures overlap. That's okay. With those three layers selected, we can take advantage of one more command called Auto Blend Layers. And we'll say that this is a panoramic photo and click OK. What it does now is it looks for the different pictures and it determines the best way to blend them together and automatically generates layer masks and blended transitions to get rid of any seams. There we go. Look how good that is. It traced the edges and automatically determined the best way to blend those layers together. I'll go ahead and merge those layers. Grab my measure tool here. It's located with the eyedropper. Take the ruler. Click and drag along a straight surface and just say image, image rotation, arbitrary. Plug that in. Now we have a straight image. Grab our crop tool, and we can crop this out. There we go. Now, you might choose to do a little bit of cloning, fill that in with the clone stamp tool or maybe patterns, but you see that this is a quick and easy way to blend multiple pictures together into a larger image. This is going to work really well. We could use this in a motion graphics project as a large photo that floats by, maybe for a show bumper, or a compositing plate with some green screen footage. This is just a really useful command that most people don't see. You'll find it in Photoshop CS3 or CS4. Hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Photoshop for Video, brought to you by Creative Cow. Be sure to head on over to the forums where you can post questions and search for answers. My name's Rich Harrington. See you next week.